Hey guys, what's going on? This is President Potato, aka the owner of Potato House. And today, I am changing a few things up. So, this mainly applies to people who are in our staff. If you're not in our staff, then, um, well, there's really no need to watch this video unless you just want to know how people or what's changing for the staff for any odd reason. But yeah, so a couple new things are going to be changing around here. And also, I wanted to make this video just to present for some of you new people some of our rules and regulations. This is the closest I can get to talking to you guys directly without having to use like a typey typey stuff. So yeah. Very first rule on potato power, and the, I'm going to kind of go with the obvious ones. When you are given staff, you are not allowed to use admin commands or any type of special privilege commands. And like, example, for PPP, or like if you're in factions and you decide you're too lazy to mind dimes, you just want to give yourself like a full stack. That kind of things not allowed, and also just let you guys know, servers. I can actually read what everyone is doing, what commands are executing, so I do know. I'm watching. And also, an another quick thing. Uh, even minor things like slash feed or slash heal in a survival situation. I, it makes me cringe, so I prefer you ask before you use those kind of things. Just the basic stuff. Alright, rule number two. Even though you have staff, pretty much most, if not all of the rules seen at the rule flap over here, and for any of the other servers that have these little plaques, of per server rules. This is the global flag here. You're not allowed to break any of these, especially abusing op. Uh, in this case scenario, well, abusing op in this case would be like where I just went over a little bit ago, advertising, swearing, hacking, disrespecting, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, I just really prefer that you guys go find this rule board. Yeah, very basic stuff. Most, most of you guys would have already caught on to this stuff. I'm just, like, making everything very clear on here. Alright. Next thing, it's not really a rule. It's mainly one of the changes that I want to see around here. It, with the rails. Go away, rails. Alright. Um, so this applies to just about everyone, from people who just started like yesterday to have been with us like from the very beginning. Um, now I haven't been able to get on Potato and yes I know it's a very sad thing um, and because of that I've noticed that I'm not getting as many staff helpers on as I normally do. Like occasionally I'll check the console and there will only be like a few people on, not as many as we were normally getting. And this is in terms of staff. So I want to let you guys know that even though I'm not on you, I would still appreciate it if you guys did some work on servers. Sometimes I'll leave you guys with op in some servers so you can just keep working on that. And you still get the points while I'll check in before I shut down the server and I will give you guys your points. And for any of you new people, we have a little point set up. So, as you can see at the mid-right of your screen, there is the top players. And this right here is kind of like a point system for just doing builds. So, like, for example, if you help out on a map, depending on how much you help out, or just make an appearance period, you will get points on the top players. And even if you're not on the top, you'll still have points, like, see there, above your name, there's a little counter, I, you can't really see it on me. But it'll be right under your name tag that will show how many points you have. I'm trying to get it to work on tab, but that, but that might be a while, might need some plugins. 
So yeah. And one of the very last things I want to go over, I'm going to be doing some frequently asked questions now. So, a couple of things, uh, we've been doing this for quite a while. Uh, so, for instance, say that you just got helper, and I offered you, and you helped out with the build, and then next time you come on, you do not have off. Now, I didn't take away your rank or anything, guys. What I do, or actually, it's more of a server, it's kind of an auto thing, um, well, I can override it, of course, but what happens is it try I try to keep people who are not helping out de -op, mainly because a cup. it mainly just I go with that very first rule of using certain commands and stuff like that. Some commands really, really, really do not want people to use, and I kind of like to leave people off when I'm on, so I can kind of like monitor. Uh, it's mainly just, not that I don't trust you guys, but it's just basic principle. I mean, like, I've worked so hard on this, I would hate for, like, someone to do, like, a crazy command that I might not even be familiar with enough to, like, reset the whole world. But, um, yeah, just that kind of thing. And let you guys know, this has happened a couple times in the past, so we've had a few people come on. And they unknowingly, but they managed to corrupt uh, a few of our worlds. Now I have software that can uncorrupt it. It's just a pain in my potato to do that. So uh, if you guys do manage to corrupt any of our server worlds, even if you're not in staff or regardless, it's probably worse if you are in staff, uh, you can get temporarily or permanently banned or temporarily or permanently demoted depending on Mainly depending on how much of a headache it is for me. And I think that's about it. Um, let me think for a second. Oh, oh, oh. One last thing, guys. Um, this has come up kind of recently. So sometimes if you have, if you've gotten staff and you haven't been on for a while, you will notice that you have gotten demoted. And that happens when, oh, well, I mainly do that, so if we get a, or until we don't get a huge staff, I kind of like to keep my staff small, and after X number of time, I'm not going to go into specifics, as it's um, I'm not going to go into specifics, but after X amount of time, you get more time the higher rank you are, and this is only applying to staff, you can get demoted. So say if you had admin rank and you weren't on for like a month or two, you would go down to like mod or helper or maybe even just plain Jane member. But don't worry guys, since you, I, I have a little thing since this has happened uh, quite a dozen times, I had like people coming to go. So if you've been in staff before, you do not have to repurchase Ender Potato. All you have to do is just reapply and you can take the test once again to make sure you didn't lose your edge. Okay, so yeah, I think that's pretty much about everything. So thank you guys for watching and for joining our staff. It really helps me out to have or to not have to do this all by myself because it, it takes forever, seriously. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, oh, and don't forget to subscribe, not to this, your pro channel, but to the official one, Think Big Corp, which is where I post the majority of my videos. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, people of Potato Power State.